Hello everyone, myself Mokas Rokit. I'm a second crop MBBS student from Neil Rathan Sarkar Medical College and Hospital. Welcome to our channel Vrik Nekha. Today our topic of discussion is Femoral Artery. Femoral Artery is the chief artery of lower limb. It supplies almost all the blood of the lower limb and it is the continuation of external iliac artery as soon as it passes below the inguinal ligament. Right? As soon as the external iliac artery passes below the inguinal ligament, its name changes to femoral artery. Now let's look about look at the course of this artery. This femoral artery starts at the mid inguinal point of the femoral triangle. If I try to draw, this is the anterior superior iliac spine. This is the anterior superior iliac spine, and this is the pubic tubercle. Then this is the inguinal ligament. Now let's suppose this is my external iliac artery which is the branch of common iliac artery, right? This is the external iliac artery. As soon as it will pass beneath the, ex beneath the inguinal ligament, its name will change to femoral artery. Now this is my femoral artery, right? This femoral artery starts at the mid inguinal point, mid inguinal point and goes all the way downwards and medially, right? downwards and medially through you remember here i will get my femoral triangle and then i will get my adductor canal this is the adductor canal and this is my femoral triangle so from the mid inguinal, inguinal point it goes all the way downwards and medially as a content of femoral triangle and the adductor canal and Ultimately, it passes via the adductor hiatus and opens in the popliteal region where its name again changes to the popliteal artery, right? So, this is the course. Now, let's look about the relation of this artery. Its anterior relation, you will get to see, obviously, if you use your common sense, you can say its anterior relations most superficially will be the skin then it will be the superficial fascia then there will be the deep fascia or the fascia lata then you will get to see sartorius and two knobs if you can remember please try to remember the medial cutaneous knob of thigh and the saphenous knob saphenous knob right and what will be its posterior relation what will be in the posterior side of this artery okay let's see the floor of the femoral triangle will be will be in its posterior relation obviously the swords major tendon pectineus muscle the adductal longus okay these muscles will be in the posterior relation in the femoral triangle femoral vein will be in the posterior relation in the lower part uh, you can say in this region the femoral vein will be in the posterior aspect of the femoral artery right and you will also get to see a big muscle in the posterior relation on which this femoral artery lies is the adductor magnus right these are the posterior relation of the femoral artery and one more thing you know in the upper three to four centimeter of the femoral artery and femoral vein they are surrounded by a fascial uh, covering called the femoral sheath so the anterior layer of the femoral sheath will be in the anterior relation of the femoral artery so the anterior layer of femoral sheath and in the posterior relation you will get to see the posterior layer of femoral sheath right so these are about the anterior and posterior relation what will be in the medial aspect of the femoral artery remember in the upper part it will be always the femoral vein and the, in the lateral aspect you will get to see femoral nerve in relation to the in relation to the in lateral relation to the femoral artery in the femoral triangle right so these are all about the relations don't worry we will see in a diagram see this is my this is my femoral artery right this is the femoral artery 
So in the medial relation, we get to see the femoral vein. In the lateral relation, we get to see the femoral nerve. Right? Now let's see a different diagram. Now let's come to the branches of the femoral artery. You can see a nice diagram presented here. This one is my external iliac artery. External iliac artery. External iliac artery. As soon as it passes the inguinal ligament, below the inguinal ligament, its name changes to the femoral artery highlighted in green color. Right. Now let's look at the branches of the femoral artery. Femoral artery gives off three superficial and three deep branches in the region of the femoral triangle. The superficial branches are superficial external pudendal, superficial epigastric and superficial circumflex iliac. Let's look this in a 3D diagram. Here. Look, this is my femoral artery. This, this is giving off three superficial branches in the femoral triangle. This one highlighted in white is the superficial epigastric artery which supplies the superficial layer of the anterior abdominal wall. Here is the superficial external pudental. Whenever you get to see the term pudental, do let them go to the genitalia. Right? Pudental means genitalia. So, they will go to the labia majora, scrotum, etc. But the superficial layers, right? They will go to the scrotum, labia majora. This is the superficial external pudentum. Here is my superficial circumflex iliac artery. This will go to the anterior superior iliac spine and supply the groin region where end will take part in the formation of spinous anastomosis also. Which one? This one. Superficial circumflex iliac highlighted in white color, right? So, these are the three superficial branches of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle. Now, let's look the deep branches of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle. The largest branch of the femoral artery is the deep artery of the thigh or most commonly known as profunda femoris artery. And this one, deep external pudental artery is also a deep branch of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle. So, where it will go? Again, the term pudental. So, the deep external pudental artery highlighted in white color will go again go to the genitalia, right? And it will go obviously medially and there will be some muscular branches also which are not shown here in this diagram. There will be some muscular branches in the femoral triangle from the femoral artery supplying the surrounding muscles. Now, if we get to see in the adductor canal, adductor canal, this femoral artery gives off some muscular branches supplying the surrounding muscles and one very important uh, branch which is the descending genicular artery. So, these are the branches of the femoral artery. If we want to know more about these branches, let's see, this is my uh, profunda femoris artery which gives off medial circumflex femoral artery, lateral circumflex femoral artery and four perforating arteries. You will get to see, here is one, here is one, see, see, here, this one, this one, this one, they are the three perforating branches of the profound femoris artery and the fourth perforating artery is the continuation of the profound femoris artery itself. Where will they go? This perforating branches of the profunda femoris artery will ultimately go through these osteoaponeurotic openings. You can finally appreciate here. Are you getting to see some pores between the aponeurotic insertion of this adductor magnus muscle and the bone humerus? I uh, sorry, the femur. In between the osseous part, that is the femur and the aponeurotic insertion, that is the aponeurotic part, the space, the pore which is created is called the osseoaponeurotic opening. This, through these osseoaponeurotic openings, this perforating branches will go from the anterior compartment of the thigh to the posterior compartment, if I can show you right here. 
and in the posterior compartment each of the perforating arteries will give off one ascending and one descending here look everyone is giving one ascending and one descending branch and all these ascending and descending branches anastomose with each other the consecutive branches anastomose with each other and form a linear chain like arterial anastomosis in the posterior compartment of thigh and in this way this supplies all the compartments of the thigh right so uh, this is about the profunda femoris artery and if we see about this descending genicular artery it it highlighted in white color it comes through the substance of vastus medialis and gives off two terminal branches one articular branch and one saphenous branch this articular branch supplies the knee joint so this is all about you who have to know about the femoral artery this is the detailed version of the femoral artery <coughs> and this is how we finish the lesson of femoral artery this much for today hope you are fine and will be doing fine for more such interesting videos join our telegram channel do subscribe our youtube channel if you are first in this channel and if you like the video please hit the like button stay happy bye bye